I want to talk about Easy Teller. Um, I currently use the pro version of this app. Okay, there is a free version, and of course, the pro version. The pro version is just ten dollars. Um, I do not recommend downloading the free version of this app, and there is a reason behind why I just said that, and I will include that in the description of this video. Um, what I really like about this app is it can actually save you money. Who doesn't like saving money? Um, think about it like this. Um, if you use the web lightly, when I say lightly, I mean um, checking emails, doing daily research, uploading photos. Um, there is really no need to have additional internet setup in your household, and you know to keep paying that high internet bill. Um, what I mean by additional internet setup is a router, a modem, and then think about it like this. If you are a student and you are trying to pull up some information, but you notice that Wi-Fi is currently unavailable. But if you have your Android powered device, your USB cable, and of course your laptop, and a data connection, then you are good to go. You got internet access right there. Um, so yeah, and let me say this now. Um, I tested this app out on the HTC Evo V 4G that you just saw and the Motorola Droid X. So I'm not sure if it will work with your um, device, but try it out. And if it works for you, good um, job. Job. Okay, so now I will show you how to set up Easy Teller on your phone and on your computer. So, yeah, let's get started. Now, on your Android device, you will need to visit the Google Play Store and download the app if you haven't already done so. There we go. Okay. Once the app has been downloaded on your Android device, launch the app. You will need to go to USB settings. Then you will need to go to USB tethering setup. Then you will choose an option based on your current operating system. Follow the directions. Make sure you enable USB debugging. Read over everything. And once you see the screen, click finish. And that should be checked. It should say ready for a connection from the host. So that is how you set up Easy Tether on your phone. Now I'm going to show you how to set it up on your computer. While on your computer you need to open up your internet browser. You need to go to Google, type in Easy Tether, click the first link, scroll down the page. You need to click download desktop drivers. Click a link based on your operating system. I would click right here, but I already have it installed, so there's really no need to download it again. 
Now I'm going to minimize this window. Open up Easy Tether. Uh, come on, it's taking too long. Okay, you will need to click install, but I already have the software installed on my computer, so I'm going to go ahead and click close. Then, after the software has been installed successfully, I recommend restarting your computer. Give it some time to boot up. Grab your USB cable. Connect it to your phone. And then computer. Wait about 20 seconds. Come over here to the easy tether icon. Right click. You see now it says disconnect right here. But yours will say connect via Android and some letters and some numbers. And that is how you set up Easy Tether on your computer. Thanks for watching.